Are you having problems achieving a satisfying level of training effectiveness? Are you, for example, up against a brick wall when you try to train collaborative decision making because the training attendees prefer to keep working as they've always done? Or are you having long discussions when you try to explain 4DT to your trainees because the stakeholders don't want to invest in new technologies? Serious games have proven to be effective tools for these issues. However, creating an effective serious game is a challenge that requires careful consideration of many design aspects. An effective learning game is one that is balanced between good game design and good instructional design. When the game design influence is too strong, the result can be a great game with limited learning outcome. However, when the instructional design influence is too strong, the result can be great content presented in a rather demotivating setting. Therefore, a serious game design team should include game designers and instructional designers who work in close cooperation. Also, games should only be used for purposes that justify their use. For example, serious games are not suitable for transferring large chunks of information. Other training media are much more suitable and cheaper. Consider, for example, a textbook. NLR employs game developers and instructional designers. Also, we can perform extensive analysis for expected effectiveness before game development and we can determine actual effectiveness after deployment. Examples of games that NLR developed in the domain of aviation are Skyboard, that trains competencies like communication, planning and collaboration. Another example is Team Tris, which is a multiplayer-based game that is developed on the basis of Tetris and aims to test and improve team skills. Today, NLR developed more than a dozen games for aviation research and training. So if you want to know more about improving your training through serious games, please find us.